You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Oh. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Well, Pete, firstly, congratulations. A brilliant innings. How were you feeling after that? Yeah, it was very pleasing, um, I suppose, from the situation we were in, being five for 60-something. Um, you know, to be able to contribute and put your team in a, you know, a winning position, it was very pleasing. And importantly, another win for the Blues. Uh, how did the team feel after the game as well? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, our, our day four performance was, was outstanding. Um, all the bowlers bowled well, but Dougie Bollinger especially, picking up five wickets uh, was a fantastic effort and it was a great victory. You talk about the mental toughness needed to score a double century. What was going through your mind while you were out there for so many hours? Um, I suppose the, uh, yeah, the difficult thing was, you know, lapses in concentration and, uh, you know, sometimes your, your technique just wants to abandon you and you start, you know, doing things a little bit wrong and it's being able to get yourself back to, you know, to how you were hitting the ball well, you know, half an hour previously. Um, so just being able to tinker around with those things and, and sort of, you know, have a little check every now and then and, and just try and get back to, to timing the ball again. And you mentioned Dougie's efforts with the uh, ball, but he also had a pretty good day with a bat. What were you saying to him while he was out there recording his highest ever first-class score? Oh, not much, really. I mean, he was just in the zone. Um, you know, he, he likes to brag how many people he's got to 100. Um, I think I was the first person he's ever got to 200, so he was very pleased with that. Yeah, I bet he was. And uh, looking forward to Wagga Wagga? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a very tough game against Victoria. Uh, they're a, a quality team. They've got a quality side. Um, and I'm sure they'll be looking to bounce back after getting beaten at the Gabba. Uh, they got us last time. What do you think is the key to the match? I think it's going to be taking 20 wickets. Um, you know, hopefully it's a, a very good pitch out there at Wagga. Um, you know, and if it's, if it's a very flat wicket, then, you know, the bowlers are really going to come to the fore and have to win the game for us. So I think bowling is going to be the key. You look at the blue squad and there's a number of people who are fit and firing at the moment and there's a lot of competition for places. Do you think the balance of the side's good at the moment? Yeah, I think it's a very well balanced side, um, especially having the two spinners uh, spinning in opposite directions to each other, and you know having having the skipper Moses, you know, being able to bowl as well is uh, you know a fantastic asset for us. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, and good luck in Wagga. Thank you.